What is up YouTube and welcome to this brand new video. So if you're new to the channel, please do drop a like and please do subscribe down below if you did enjoy the video. So we're going to be talking about the ever never ending rumor mill that is the DCEU. So we have a brand new rumor that the Batman role is definitely going or definitely wanted for Jake Gyllenhaal and apparently Warner Brothers definitely and Matt Reeves definitely want Jake Gyllenhaal to play the role of the Batman in The Batman. Now the problem is we already have a Batman and in my opinion a fantastic Batman at that and that is Ben Affleck. So Ben Affleck is currently Batfleck and he does have a contract with Warner Brothers to be in the next movie. However, they the, the reports are that Warner Brothers have incredibly soured upon Ben Affleck and really I'm not sure why because he had he's turned out a fantastic performance in my opinion he's he's done what done the best he possibly could with albeit a lackluster script in Justice League and really a bit of a confusing mess in Batman vs Superman but I did enjoy those movies all the same now the thing is he is obviously having a contract however if he decides to leave Jake Gyllenhaal could take this role but I can't help but think switching Batman at this stage would be a, a disaster, in my opinion, for the, the DCEU. And the a further rumour is the fact that this movie will actually be a part of the DCEU, which previously we've had them say that, well, it's not actually going to be part of it, which really it should. And the rumour is that it's kind of it's his own story but it is connected to the universe i think the best way is the mcu's ant-man and probably even incredible hulk these were stories which had their own story they, they had their own kind of whole thing going on but they did have connections to the rest of the universe maybe you could you could say suicide squad in some ways as well but the thing is the rumour is that if Batman or Ben Affleck even goes, well, Jake Gyllenhaal, then he will have the role. So I'm not sure if this is really a good idea, to be honest. However, a lot of people do actually want Jake Gyllenhaal to take that role. He is a fantastic actor, of course. And, well, the problem is we do actually have a lot of a lot of issues with Ben Affleck in the fact that he just looks tired and doesn't actually want to be in the movies. So the thing is, basically, what we can sum up here is the fact that, well, it's a self-contained story. We won't see other characters that have been established already. So let me know what you think down below on that. We've also, as well, got some interesting things from Infinity War. Now, the thing is, the the question is, who will Peter Dinklage be playing in the movie? And of course, I'm a huge Peter Dinklage fan because I loved him in Elf. I loved him, of course, in Game of Thrones and in the three billboards movie that's just come out. He was great in that too. So a lot of people are thinking that he could be Pip the Troll who played a big part or an okay part in the fact that he owned, had this space gem over in Infinity War comics. But... The thing is, we have also know that, well, the Guardians and Thor will be heading to Nid Avelir, which I hope I've pronounced that correctly, where, where the Dwarves Forge is where they will be getting the Axe Thunderer weapon. So perhaps he could be the one of these Dwarves who have actually been in control of this Forge. Yes, that would be quite big as well. And also, a further thing... Defenders coming to Infinity War? Yeah, I wish, but I don't know if that will ever actually happen. But in one of the Lego sets, we actually see the New York Bulletin, and it says crime floods the streets with Daredevil over it. So we don't know if that will actually happen. We've had no set or anything, set pictures of any of the Defenders actually on set for Infinity War and the, the the resounding no has pretty much come from 
everyone involved that these will actually ever cross over however it really really should actually happen if most of this action is to take place in new york but let me know what you think in the comments below that is it i'll see you soon and goodbye now lastly please please do help me here because i need your help one of my great great friends here andy levy is currently taking place in a comic book competition with irrational comics and the winner gets to see their whole comic published he's a fantastic writer and if you head to irrationalcomics.wordpress.com forward slash pitch hyphen 2018 and then another forward slash for some reason i'll put the link in the description down below so please do vote for him here it is osaka mime the art the writing is just amazing but yeah i'm probably just a bit biased there so please do go and vote for him let's get him to win here let's smash this out